now! Hi everybody, Gribben here, back again with more help for Help Wanted. I recently just got a request for Dreadbear in the Curse of Dreadbear DLC, so let's jump into it. I'll be doing VR mode and flat mode, but first we're going to do VR mode. So the cranks are in two different places depending on if you're playing flat mode or VR. In VR, the crank is off to your left here. So crank Welcome that soldier boy in. Ooh, and there Today, he is. We are using science to pervert the mysteries of life and reanimate the inanimate. To begin, it is customary for the creator to give a melodramatic speech. Go on, I'll wait. We require info on security breach. All done? Yes. Good job. Thanks. Now, All right, so take this lever and zap that boy. Take your cattle prods here. Okay, so we need a big brain for this boy. We need it to be a 10. We're currently at a 4. So zap it. So let's calibrate one. Use the laboratory tools to adjust the brain's vital characteristics. Look at the size of this brain. Dreadbear is going to be a nightmare. If you're unsure about where it is, look down here at the bottom. You can see that it's currently a 10. Grab your tattoo gun. So we need this to be lime. I saw the next one was dark blue, and the next one was yellow. You kind of want to get yourself in the habit of finding what colors are next. You don't want to zap this guy too often. Okay. Next one was red. We have lavender, or violet, or purple, whatever you want to call it. And we have ourselves green, and we have ourselves hot pink, then we have ourselves orange pink, and sky blue. Alright. Take a quick look. Make sure we did it correctly. Lime, blue, yellow, red, purple, green, hot pink, orange. Zap. Okay, we got ourselves that fuchsia color, and then we got the sky blue. Perfect. So take this thing, jam it in there. So yellow is what it currently is. Red is what we need it to be. So we need it to be a little bit faster. So this one adjusts the size. I think this one adjusts the speed. That is correct. Okay, so we need it to be a little smaller, it looks like. Yeah. All right, so a little bit bigger. Zap him one more time. We don't have one more zap after this. Once he starts having red eyes, you don't want to zap him again. And I think we got it, boys and girls. So this is how you adjust the frequency. But I think we got it. So take that out. Take this big boy brain, shove it right in. What do you think, Dreadbear? How do you feel after your surgery, my friend? Looks like he's doing pretty good. Well done. It's time to introduce the creature to the kids for focus testing and troubleshooting. Bye. And there you go. That's Dreadbear VR mode. All right, Dreadbear flat mode. Now, of course, hit L3 so you're in free look. It makes this a lot easier. Just in case you don't have a VR set, I want to be thorough. Now, your crank is off to the left-hand side here. Crank that boy down. Welcome back to research and development. Hey. Today, we are using science to pervert the mysteries of life and reanimate the inanimate. You don't say. To begin, it is customary for the creator to give a melodramatic speech. Go on, I'll wait. I fear one day I'll wake up and not have feet. All done? Yes. Good job. Thank you. Zap. Wake up. All right, so we're currently at a two. Grab your cattle prods here. We need to give this guy a big it's boy brain. Zappy, 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 zappy. So let's calibrate one. Okay, sorry, I got some messages on my screen. I can't see what it is. All right, put your cattle prods down. Grab your tattoo gun. Navigate with your directional pad up, left, down, right. When you are satisfied, carefully place the brain in the creature's animatronic head cavity. Also kind of give yourself a leeway on what the next couple colors will be. This was yellow. We'll also do sky blue. And I think the next one was orange. We'll double check that. Zap. Grab my tattoo gun here. Yep, it was sky blue, orange. All right, now we'll do lavender. Lavender, red. What else we got? 
dark blue, lime, and hot pink. So dark blue, lime, and hot pink. All right. So now we need to calibrate it, but first we're going to zap. All right, so calibrate it. Hold in L2. Well, hit L2, I should say. That tells you what it needs to be. Navigate through the knobs by hitting left and right. Or you can just keep hitting left or right. So currently, yellow is what it is. We need it to be slowed down quite a bit. Up and down is how you change the frequencies. Okay, we don't want it to be that slow. Well, we'll see. Will you work with me a little bit here, Dreadbear? Zap! Alright, so we only have, I think... Actually, I think we nailed it here. I think we have success here, Dreadbear. Tell me what you think. Open the hatch. Kobe! What do you think, Dreadbear? Mikey, he likes it. Well done. Thank it's you. It's time to introduce the creature to the kids for focus testing and troubleshooting. Yeah, because that won't give kids nightmares. So there you go. That's Dreadbear Flat Mode. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, join the community. I'll leave links in the description on how you can do that. Are you having any other issues with Five Nights at Freddy's games on console? Just leave me a comment. I'll see what I can do for you, my friends. But until the next video or the next stream, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye-bye.